I've done many videos covering specific items and spawn locations, but none covering my entire loot run. So here it is, the ultimate resort loot guide. Before we begin, I just want to point out that this is my personal loot run. This is what works for me and everything is RNG. I'll show you the typical route I prefer to take and explain as I'm going along, but be sure to experiment and see which works best for you. I like to start with the east wing when I can and start off by rushing 110. Inside I check in the shower room for med spawns including LEDX and ophthalmoscopes. I then check on and under the desk for gold spawns and other items on the floor. Then I check the PC for GPUs. More gold spawns on the table under the TV and lastly I check the white trolley for meds and the suitcase by the door on the way out. From here I go to 107. Inside I typically only search the room in front, I check on the table, shelves and the floor for LEDX, GPUs and other rare items. Then I head up to the second floor and take a quick look into 227. On top of the washing machine you can find med spawns which include LEDX, ophthalmoscopes and stims. From here we go into 226. Closing the door behind us, we check the shelves for meds, mainly LEDX. I search the floor all the way to the balcony for rare items and tech spawns. Then I do the same for the bed, the table and the floor. Then moving through the balcony into 222, I check along both of the tables for tech spawns and inside this box in the doorway for gold spawns such as bitcoins. Moving on from here, I run to 219. Inside I check the box, the table and the floor on the right. In here so far this wipe I've found bitcoins, LEDX, GPUs and so many other great items. Across from here we enter 218. Going through the balcony to the joining room I check on the left side of the table for the red keycard spawn. Still yet to find one but maybe one day. Then I move back the way we came to 228 and check the computer. I found many GPUs and computers this wipe, and in fact, two in this room on a scav, so why skip it? I then head up to the third floor just above, room 328. I enter via the storeroom key as it opens three rooms at the resort, but that's entirely up to you. Walking past, I check this table for gold spawns, then heading into the next room, where I check the table and the floor for tech spawns like GPUs. I search the PC and the duffel bag, the other table for loose loot, and then the bedside table for weapon parts. From here, I head to the marked room. Search along the floor and inside the pig's ear for gold spawns such as rollers and gold chains. Then I search the dead scav itself. I've not found much on him this wipe other than the odd fuel can or level 4 armor, but I can't complain. I then head to 314. Inside I follow it round to 313 and check on top of the box for a LEDX spawn. Continuing along, I move to 310. Inside this room, I loot both duffel bags and check both tables for gold spawns, such as bitcoins and gold chains. Moving out of here, I head to the computer room, 306. check all of the four computers for GPUs, on top of the chair for gold spawns, the black crate for weapon parts and then I move through the balcony to the next room and check for a LEDX spawn on the bedside table. Then I head back down to the second floor and start with 209. In here, I typically only search this room, even though it's connected to another room. I search on top of the tables, the floor and the windowsill for med spawns, which include LEDX and ophthalmoscopes. I then move on to the last room on the east wing, room 206.
Inside, I checked the bedside table for gold spawns and on the box on the right by the window for med spawns. Then following it through the balcony to the next room, I checked the table for loose loot and inside the drawer on the bed for gold spawns. I used to find bitcoins in this drawer quite often, but not so much these days. From here, I recommend going to admin instead of rushing across the sky bridge, but I often just rush across like an idiot. If you find yourself running across the sky bridge, perhaps take a quick peek inside the ambulance as the blue key card can spawn just inside the door. There's also a LEDX spawn in the back of the ambulance next to the med bag, but I usually skip it as it's quite open. The first room we come to is 205. Inside, I check all the tables and the chair for loose loot and gold spawns and the floor for tech spawns. I then move through the balcony to 203 and check on top of the paper, on the floor, by the bed for the red keycard spawn. From here we move up to 301 on the third floor. This is probably the best room at the resort overall and I've had a couple of raids where I've gotten either multiple bitcoins or multiple GPUs. Inside the room I check on top of the white barrel and along the floor for rare items and tech spawns like LEDX and GPUs. Make sure you check the floor thoroughly as items tend to hide under the carpet. On the balcony you can find gold spawns like the bitcoins I've mentioned. On the table and chair you can find meds, tech and gold spawns. Same goes for the floor by the green crate. And then search the computers for GPUs and then the bed for stims and other meds. I also check the green crate while I'm here as you can get red rebels. Extremely rare I know but still possible. Then we head to 3.11. Inside this room on the floor, behind the bed, on the chair and inside the wardrobe you can find all sorts of rare items. So far this wipe I've found LEDX, GPUs, Bitcoins and other rare items that share the same loot pools. From here I drop down to the second floor and head to 2.16. Inside on the left I check for tech spawns, mainly GPUs. I check the table by the window for consumables such as moonshine and sugar. I then check the other table for meds such as the LEDX and stims. I then check 218. On the table on the right you can find more moonshine and sugar. A red keycard spawn on the blue barrel and an RSAS on the box in the bathroom. I rarely check the connected rooms to be honest, 221 and 222, but these rooms contain loose loot, other med spawns, a duffel bag and a weapon crate. I then head into 220. Inside I check for med spawns on the left and for a gold spawn on the box in the right corner. From here we move up to the third floor and head towards 321. In here there's a safe which contains the typical safe loot, gold spawns, diaries, etc. I'll be honest, I barely loot this safe purely because I'm forgetful, but you shouldn't miss it. It's basically a case of do as I say and not as I do. From here we head down to the first floor to 104. Inside I check the shelves for meds and tech spawns, the table for the blue keycard and sometimes items drop on the floor so you might want to check that too. And then we move to the other side, 112. In here I check the TV stand for the blue keycard, the table for stuff like moonshine and both duffel bags. I don't tend to search all the duffel bags but I really should. So far this wipe I found a couple of GPUs and some other really good items in there so why skip them? Not far from here we have a room with no name. I'm going to call it the security room. Inside I check the computer for a GPU. 
I did in fact miss a computer at West 101. There's 20 PCs at the resort in total, and if you want to know where they all are, you can check the card in the top right corner of the video. The next place I check is the basement. But before we jump into that, if you found this video helpful so far, why not show your appreciation by hitting the like button. In the basement, I check the blue locker on the left for the red key card spawn. I also loot the duffel bags from time to time, but I often skip them if I'm in a rush. Did you know there are seven duffel bags in total in the basement alone? From here, we're going to move over to admin. Just before we get to the stairs, we're going to check out Dilly's secret PC. Barely ever checked for some reason. In this room on the right, you can find it under the desk. Moving on from here, we're going to go under the stairs and check the top of the white trolley by the jump up. Here, you can find lead X, ophthalmoscopes, and other med and tech spawns. Then heading upstairs, we're going to start on the east side. Going through the door in front, I search for GPUs and other tech spawns on the shelves on the left and on the desks on the right. There's also a PC under the desk and you can find industrial loot all around the rest of the room. And in the corner on the table by the window is another red keycard spawn by the ashtray. Moving into the next room, I check for rare tech spawns on the couch and on the desk, as well as a PC under the desk and a safe in the corner. In the next room, I typically only search the PC, which is under the desk in front of us to the right. And then heading into the next room, I loot all five PCs, the black crate, and sometimes there's decent loose loot on the floor and on the desks. Moving into the stage room, I loot the duffel bag on the chair. I then move on to the west side and loot the duffel bag on the couch. And lastly, I loot the safe in the corner of the room in front of us. Well, that's everything covered for my resort run, but if you're looking for specific spawn locations for items such as LEDX and GPUs, then perhaps check these videos out next.